Hello friends, it's me, back at it again for another video. Looking at myself on the screen is so weird. It's like, who is she? We're all pink today. Also, look at all my nails that I broke. Look at these, they're struggling. These two are struggling. This one's struggling. More than half my nails have broke in the past 48 hours. But anyways, today we're gonna be checking out some more stupid kid test answers. Why are they smart? That's for you to decide. Answer the following equations. One times nine. Jesus. Three times nine. Jesus. 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 How did you work out these equations? Jesus is always the answer. Okay, see this kid tried it and it's not gonna fly. I love you, Jesus. Not in math. Bro, one times nine is nine. Three times nine is 27. I wonder if it's like in Catholic school and they just be like, oh my God, Billy's a genius. Full scholarship to Harvard now. He's figured out the answer. If only life was that easy. <laughs> Write any properties of white cement. It is white in color. You don't say. Oh, the teacher actually drew the meme. Like, wow, so smart. Who taught you? I wonder if teachers ever think like that. Like, my students are stupid. Therefore, I have failed as a teacher. No. Nope. Name, microwave. <laughs> That's me. It's your boy. Microwave, ready to reheat your nuggets. I wonder if someone's name is actually microwave, because that's a really <laughs> unique name. I mean, what if my name was microwave? I think that would be hella cool. Like, yo, it's me, wave. Short for microwave. Tell me that doesn't sound bomb. What miracles do Christians celebrate at Easter time? Chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate? Did you say chocolate? Chocolate? Chocolate! 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 Duh. I mean, it's that and Easter eggs and chocolate. Chocolate! And bunnies and honey glazed ham. That's what it's all about. It's a miracle we have. And brunch. Don't forget brunch. Extra credit. Describe the dumbest conversation you overheard recently. Guy, do you like Bon Jovi? Girl, no thanks. I don't need Italian food. <laughs> what? Plus seven. Holy smokes. <laughs> Wow, we need more extra credit like this. Clap, clap, clap. What's the dumbest conversation? This teacher is a good time. Oh man, Bon Jovi. Italian food? You absolute uncultured swinette. Megan rolls a die 70 times. She uses her results to calculate the experimental probability that she rolls a four as one fifth. How many fours did Megan roll? I mean, isn't it 70 divided by five? Super easy math, I'm genius, okay? <laughs> No, Billy put none because her life is so boring because she has no friends. So she rolls dice for fun. <laughs> KYSDB, whatever that means. <laughs> How dare Megan roll some dice in 2019 when you could be playing Fortnite? Rude answer, but you know, <laughs> I still laugh. But seriously, 70 times? Imagine having free time like that to just sit and roll a dice and see how many times you get four. You know, I feel like in modern day, this equation should be translated. Billy plays 70 games of Fortnite. What is the experimental probability that he gets a victory royale? Megan be like, no. Nah. Because Billy has no thumbs. Look at the picture and complete the statements that follow. What's going on here? Little Aiden got beat up and is starving. And Aiden saying no to the belt. The child's right in the picture A is not respected because nobody likes him. <laughs> He doesn't have something to eat. Duh! Look at him. His right is not respected because there was a crack in his table and someone stole his McChicken. So he smacked himself in the face. <gasps> what kind of question is this? Anyways, two. The child's right in picture B is not respected because he's forcing him to eat the belt. <laughs> He's being punished with a belt. No, obviously the child is too innocent or extremely privileged that his parents did not have to use the belt. Therefore, he has no prior knowledge of the belt. It makes perfect sense. Child A is hungry. Child B gets offered to eat a belt and is like, no, my digestive system cannot digest that. Please refrain from offering me any more belts to eat tonight. So innocent. Like a little kid shouldn't be forced to answer this. I guess it's like awareness if the kid is like dealing with something at home. But this kid is just a troll. All about my mom. My mom is 13 years old. Hold up. 
up. Some don't add up. She has brown eyes and black hair. Her job is wreck on a grilled. Teacher translation. Works on a computer. Oh, bless you for being able to understand that. How you go from grilled to computer. Maybe she worked on a grilled. I would have thought it said grid before I thought computer. She loves to eat penis. <laughs> nice. Peanuts. The nut. These nuts? <laughs> Got <laughs> Yes, those ones. Wait, no, not those ones. Mrs. King asked her students to use the word single in a sentence. Mrs. King is single. That means she does not have a man. <laughs> Dude, what a call! I would feel personally attacked if I was Miss King. How y'all know my business? I mean, some teachers actually like complain about like not having a man, having problems with their boyfriend, husband, whatever. I've had one of those. Comment below, have you had one of those? A teacher that shares a little too much and I wanna know what. They even drew a picture. Here's Mrs. King, boyfriend. She does not have. Really rub it in. Sprinkle some salt in the wound. That burn real good, don't it, Miss King? What did you like about this class? Okay, so I don't know if a lot of schools did this, but a couple of years in high school, at the end of the year, they gave us a paper and we had to like review our experience. What did you like about this class? I didn't really like it because you never taught us. You just handed us paper to work on. What did you least like about this class? You never taught anything. You just handing us a packet. What could the teacher do to make this class better for future students? Teach us. You know, that's why they call you a teacher. You gotta teach the kids. You can't just be like, here's a packet. There you go. Merry Christmas. What topics did we not cover that you wish we had? Not because you never taught us. Mm. I I don't think I've ever had a teacher like that that just like gives us work and it's like do it. Have you guys comment below. What is something you'd really love to learn this year? How to read. How, how do I do it? How are you writing this? No, but for real though, I know how to write but I don't know how to read. This is a problem that I would like solved in the upcoming month. Thank you. State two major world religions. One, the force in Star Wars. Two, football. I mean, they ain't wrong. Oh, two major world religions. Mm, I don't know about the force, but football, yes, in America. Definitely a religion to many. I don't know, man, y'all worshiping balls. I don't get it. It's literally just a ball <laughs> being like kicked around. Like, bro, I don't understand sports. How old is your grandfather? 55, 500, dead. Sorry. <laughs> Damn, what an insensitive AF question. You're just gonna assume these little, little kids got a grandfather? Just make another circle. He's dead because you didn't include that. She gave him a C on the assignment as well. You just brought up horrible memories of my grandfather's passing and you're gonna give me a C. Jesse earned a lot of money. Taxes equal to 17% were taken out of his earnings. Jesse wants to figure out quickly and accurately the amount of taxes. Which of the following computational tools should he use? Okay, first of all, this is probably the closest thing you will get to learning about taxes in school. Is a word problem with no context whatsoever. Calculator. Estimation. Mental computation. Paper and pencil. E. An Asian. I mean, a calculator will work just fine, but if you need a whole other person of a specific race, <laughs> I, I guess, because you are simply incompetent. Smash like if you know the answer. What is something that your family consumes large quantities of? Rice. What is a subject that you have a hard time comprehending? Geometry. What is one thing that makes you feel rapture? Rice. What is your idea of a sumptuous meal? Rice! Me too, Billy, me too. We all love rice. Rice is the answer to all your problems. How much higher in the air is the second kite? Not that high. Not that correct. Mm, 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 mm. Teacher, dabbing on the students. What do you want to do when you grow up? I want to be Michael Jordan when I grow up. What do you need to do to achieve your dreams? One, get bigger. Two, shave my head. Three, be black. This is why your dreams will always be dreams, Billy. What do you want to do when you grow up? I want to be Michael Jordan when I grow up. What do you need to do to achieve your dreams? One, get bigger. Two, shave my head. Three, be black. This is why your dreams will always be dreams, Billy. Question 38. Why is a microphone true or false? What? True or false? There are no wrong answers. When copper metal is heated, it reacts with a gas. What is the chemical name of the product formed from the air? These nuts. You know, when you put it so eloquently in cursive, the answer to all questions in life. These nuts? <laughs>
Yes. I agree. Name. Jake Hall. Sex. Yes, please. <laughs> today i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment below the dumbest thing that has ever happened to you at school i will be lurking in the comment section and make sure you subscribe join the wolf pack oh i upload every single day and i love you guys so much thanks for watching bye guys